What up my cruisers, in this video I'll be installing my new roof rack from Delta Vehicle Systems. I purchased the rack for around $890 plus shipping. If you're interested in getting one, I'll link it the site in the description. The reason I went with Delta is due to the fact that I didn't want a full rack because I don't want my sunroof covered. Also, I have used Delta VS brackets for my attic build, link in the description for that, and I was really impressed with the build quality of the product. So in the end, I pulled the trigger and bought the half rack. The cool thing about this Delta rack is you can customize it as well. If you want a full rack, I can always get one or you can get one in the future. So that really makes it appealing for me and I hope you guys for you too. Anyways, check out how I installed it. Let's get her done. So the first thing obviously I did was unbox the roof rack itself and it came pretty well packaged. I was pretty happy with the way they wrapped it and the box was taped pretty good. Nothing fell out. Uh, there were some nuts that were loose in there, but fortunately, because since it was packed so good, nothing fell out. And um, on the website itself, it comes with, you know, the packing list and uh, what tools you need. So you're going to need a 7 16, 9 16, 14 millimeter socket and wrenches and some hex nut, hex, hex wrenches as well first step after you unbox is to place the x member with the cross member with these uh carriage bolts and i believe you're going to use the six short quarter inch carriage bolts three per side and four three eight carriage bolts two per side so one thing i noticed is if you want to put these bolts in they kind of, you kind of like have to push them in one at a time, make sure they line up like this one. Otherwise they won't line up if you try doing it like here on this side. See, I put these in and I screwed them in, which I probably shouldn't have. See how it's not really aligned. There's like a, there's a little bit off over there and over here and over here. So like put them in one at a time and then screw them in. See this one I'm probably gonna have to unscrew because I screwed them in. And this side I didn't. So that's a little tip right there. So after you use the rear X member with the two side rails, the next step is you're gonna assemble the clamp brackets. So there's gonna be uh, the one fork carriage bolts inside of the rack. Each clamp has three holes. And the top two are for the longer one quarter inch bolts. And it says, don't tighten these yet. And then the short one is for the bottom hole. So you'll see it in a second. So after you put all four on, this is how it's gonna look. Don't tighten these up. It says in the instructions not to tighten these. Just tighten the bolt, short bolt on the bottom. Did it for all four sides, as you can tell. Now we're gonna put this piece on. So the next step, you're gonna attach the mid member with the X member. The X member uses four short quarter inch carriage bolts, two per side and the uh, secures to the side rail using 14 3 8 inch carriage bolts seven per side
I'm almost done tightening everything up. Just have like two bolts left to tighten. And then we're gonna do a little test on see the strength of this thing. So right here, I decided to test the strength of the roof rack itself. So I stood on it and I'm about 190 pounds and it didn't budge at all. So props to Delta. The next step is to install the rubber trim. Now the thicker one is for the back piece and then there's like two slimmer pieces that you put on the side where that goes along the side rails of the truck. So you can do this step anytime during the process, either the beginning or the end like I did. I did it after I assembled my roof rack, so then you're going to have to remove the old hardware. The thing was my bolts were all rusted, so I ended up having to pretty much sawzall the rest of it off. And I was able to get those railings off, but uh, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So after you remove the lugger supports with a screwdriver, you're going to want to screw these screws back in so the water doesn't get into your roof. So the last and final step is to finally mount the rack to the roof. You're going to make sure it's hanging down over the vehicle's drip rails. Once you put it in place, you tighten it down with a quarter inch button cap screws from the bottom. Don't tighten these until they're all in place. And then once they're all in place, you give, make sure they're tight. You give it a little shake, which I did. And uh, I did have some mounting issues, which you guys will see in a minute. But uh, that's because I didn't saw my thing off, but uh, you'll see. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I kind of messed up. See, I only screwed in the back sides. Uh, my front ones had an alignment issue, so I'm not exactly that sure. That side needed there. it, but this side is pretty much flush. I don't know. This is a little off, but I'm not even gonna try to put that in there because I tried, but I couldn't get it in. It's like flush on that mount on this railing right here. So I'm just gonna leave it like that because it's supported on this anyways. So, I mean, even if this, I mean, if this thing breaks, this thing's gonna fall off anyway, cause even with this bracket on here and the screws is gonna fall off. So this, this should be good as long as this is tight. Yeah, I'm not sure if my roof is uh, misaligned or I didn't install it properly, but for some reason it was already flush. I tried to do it slowly one by one, but uh, the front ones were really tight. So I just ended up zip tying it. And then I went to my buddy's place and sawzawed the old roof rack sides off, put in the back part. And this is how it turned out right here. And uh, if you like this video, make sure you like, share, subscribe. I got another video coming up of uh, what I've done so far. As you can see, I got a new paint job. So if you want to stay tuned for that. I'll probably link that when that's done. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped. And I'll see you on the next one.